Hey folks, my name is David Falzgraf, and I'm the founder and lead sound designer here at SundaySounds.com. We're really excited to be able to provide you with high quality song specific main stage patches for today's most popular modern worship songs. Using our main stage patches, you can nail these songs live, even if you're not using backing tracks and you're the only keyboard player. The great thing about all our main stage patches is that you don't need any expensive third party plugins or software. You just need Main Stage 3 running on any modern Mac computer, and you can use these patches live. We've designed this patch at the original tempo and in the original key of the song, but there's a video tutorial on the product page that you can check out after you've purchased the patch if you need to do the song in a different key or at a different tempo than the original. To make things even easier for you, we've pre-mapped this patch to our Sunday Keys Main Stage template. So if you have Sunday Keys, you can just drag and drop this patch right into your concert and it will be pre-mapped to the extra section. There's no setup work or mapping required. Just drag it in, you're ready to play. Now, I'm gonna hand this over to Ryan, who's gonna walk you through the various sections of the patch to teach you how to use it to nail this song live. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, Ryan here from Sunday Sounds. Now, before we actually get started playing this patch, I just wanted to make a quick note, and that is that we use the mod wheel to move in and out between different sections of the song. And so if you don't have a mod wheel, well, that's totally fine. We've got a video tutorial over on our blog, and that's going to show you how you can use a fader or a knob in place of the mod wheel so you can still maintain full functionality of this patch. We've got this patch kind of divided into two sections. So from 0 to 50, we're going to use that for our slower down parts of the song. And then from 50 to 100% here on the mod wheel, we'll use that for the larger parts, so the chorus, the pre-chorus. Now, as we move from zero to about halfway, we're going to build up those um, quieter parts of the song. And building from 50 to 100, we're going to build up the louder parts of the song. I'm going to go ahead and just play through just a little bit on the keys and move the mod wheel so you can hear the fades and the different sounds that come in and out. So as you probably heard, from about zero to halfway, we're just building up the pad. From about 50 um, to about 70, we've got this um, pluck type sound that comes in on the quarter notes. As we move a little past that, we've got a sequenced synth that comes in. And then full power, we've got um, a faster arp that comes in, and then the strings are in full force, and we've also got a sub bass. Okay. So we start the song out with a mod wheel down, and we have that intro instrumental, and it's that signature piano line of the song. So I'm going to go ahead and just play through that, and then we'll go back and break it down. And that sounds like this. Okay, so in the left hand, we're going to do a bit of walking on some of the chords. I'm going to go ahead and just go over those really quick. And so we start on that A flat, and we're actually just going to do A flat, E flat, A flat. And then we go to the E flat. I like to just do uh, diamond that chord. That's E flat, B flat, E flat. And then we walk the next chord, that B flat minor. And so we're going to do B flat, F, A flat. And then we end on the D flat. So that's diamonding again with a D flat, A flat, D flat. Now, that's just the way that I was able to hear um, how they played it in the original recording. Of course, if you wanted to just keep it simpler and just do the roots of the chords, you're totally free to do that as well. 
In the right hand, we're just going to do an octave and the lead line goes like this. That's really all there is to it. The next section um, we're going to go into is the first verse. And so we're going to start as well with the mod wheel down and we're just going to dime in the different chords. I'll show you the voicings that I use really quick and then we'll go through and break it down. Okay, we're actually going to go through those um, four chords two times. And so if, if you've noticed at the end when I was playing, I started to bump the mod wheel up to about 50%. Um, that's just so that I can kind of bring the pad up and sort of build. Now, the voicings that I use, so for the A flat chord, we're doing an A flat, E flat, A flat, C. For the E flat over G, we're going to do a G, E flat, B flat, E flat. For that F minor, we're going to do F, C, A flat, C. And then for the D flat, I'm just going to do a low D flat here in the left with an F and an A flat in the right. Once again, those are just the voicings that I could hear in the recording. You're totally free to just do something like octaves or even add um, the fifth in there if you'd like. Now, make sure you pay close attention to those verse chords because we're going to see basically the same thing over again in the bridge with just a little change, and we'll get to that in the future. From that verse, we go back into the instrumental. You can go ahead and leave the mod wheel up because we built up to it, and then we go into the second verse. It's going to be the exact same as the first verse. And then from there, we start to build into the pre-chorus. I'm going to go ahead and play through that really quick. Kind of watch what I do with the mod wheel, and then we'll go through and break it down. And it sounds like this. Okay, so if you noticed, I started to build up while I was playing, starting to bring in that plucked sound, and then at the very end, we even push it up a little higher, and then from there, that just builds right into the chorus. And so all we're doing is octaves in the left hand on the uh, bass notes of the chord. In the right hand, we start off the first time we play the chords. We're just going to play two notes per chord, and those are these. So for the A flat, we play an A flat, E flat. E flat is going to be a B flat, E flat. The F minor. And then for the D flat. Okay. Now, whenever we repeat that progression, when we go to the C here, we're going to start playing those same notes, but we're just going to play eighth notes. And so that sounds like this. And from there, we're pushing the mod wheel up, and we're going to build straight into the chorus. I'll go ahead and play through the chorus, and then we'll go back and break it down. Okay, 
So in both hands we're going to be doing octaves. In the left hand we're going to be playing the root note of the chords. And then in the right hand we're going to just be following that lead vocal line. I'll play through that lead uh, vocal line really quick. And it sounds like this. Now, depending on where you are in the song, um, we either repeat the chorus or we drop down into the bridge. So let's say that we're dropping to the bridge. Well, while we hold that C sharp in the right hand and that D flat in the left, go ahead and just use your pedal to keep those pressed and fade the mod wheel down pretty quickly to about 50%. And that's gonna bring out those arps and then go back into just that pad uh, that pad and piano feel so that we can subdue it for the bridge. I'll go ahead and just play um, the tail end of the chorus, show you how I drop down into the bridge. I'll play through the bridge and then we'll go and break it down. And that sounds like this. Okay, so you probably noticed that we went back and played something really similar to the intro instrumental of the song. So the only real difference is that instead of being in this range with the right hand, we're gonna come an octave down and play that same line here. Now in the left hand, there is also a little change. So whereas before we had an A flat, E flat, B flat minor, D flat, now we're gonna switch out that B flat minor for an F minor. And I do that with just an F, C, F. The same thing applies whenever we go into diamonding those chords. Instead of that E flat over G, we're gonna actually just go to an E flat. So we switch the root from the G. So as before we had this chord, now we just drop the G down to the E flat. And so we're actually going to, the way the progression is going to work is there's sort of different phases of the bridge. So the first phase I like to call just that inst instrumental deal again. From there we go into the second phase, which is the chords. And then from there we actually go back into the instrumental feel. Now you have the option of either sticking low with it or going back and playing an octave up. We can start to build the mod wheel as well just to make um, a fuller sound as we progress through the bridge. Just make sure you note that when you go back to that intro instrumental, you're still going to be using the F minor rather than that B flat minor. We're gonna play through those a bit, and then we finally get to the last part of the bridge where we actually will revert back. We'll switch out that F for that B flat minor, and then we'll hold out on the final chord, that D flat. And that's really all the different sections of the song. So the main thing to take away from this is just knowing what 0 to 50 sounds like and 50 to 100. And that's really it guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this patch. There's some really awesome uh, pads and synth textures in this and it's just a really fun song to play. So I hope that you pick it up and add this to your song library and we'll see you next time.